Princess Robin and the Dragon Once upon a time, not so long ago, there lived a brave girl called Robin. Robin was a princess who resided in a castle in the town of Whitworth with her parents, brother, Prince Noah, and Nacho, her best friend and ginger cat companion. Princess Robin was assisting Nacho with his breakfast one morning. Do you want some biscuits, Nacho? Nacho meowed loudly and curled himself around Robin's legs, indicating yes. Breakfast was Nacho's favorite meal of the day, and it happened to be Robin's as well. Robin caught the scent of the biscuits as she poured them into Nacho's fish-shaped plate. They reeked of deliciousness, Nacho prodded her with his paw and meowed again as she licked her lips and grabbed for one of them. Robin gave him a sidelong glance. Nacho never took her food, and he was correct. They were his munchies. All right, Nacho, here you go. Nacho tucked into his wonderful dinner as she replied cheerfully. It was time to get dressed, after they had both eaten. Robin sat next to Nacho as she picked out her clothes for the day. They had huge plans. They were going to the park to ride the slide and then they were going to feed the horses some carrots at the nearby stables. Robin heard a big roar just as she grabbed for a pair of mustard leggings. Nacho dashed beneath the bed when the castle rocked a little. Princess Robin frowned as she zipped up her pants and marched up to the window to gaze out. What was that strange noise? She recognized the perpetrator right away, a dragon rested in the foggy morning sun, observing the settlement. He shouted again, scattering the inhabitants into their homes and hiding. Robin frowned and put her fists on her hips. All of her plans for the day would be ruined by a dragon. She had been anticipating seeing the horses at the stables for quite some time. This will not suffice. Nacho, are you going to accompany me to the dragon's lair? Nacho barked a quick, piercing meow that sounded eerily similar to a no. All right, Princess Robin responded, nodding. I can see you're terrified. I'm terrified as well, but I'm not about to let a dragon ruin everyone's day. Robin stepped out of her chamber, through the castle, and out the front door, her boots on. She felt the dragon's scorching breath on her skin as soon as she walked outdoors. There he was, roaring into the sky so loudly that it shook the windows of every home. Except for Princess Robin, no one could be seen because everyone was hiding. Excuse me, Robin yelled as she marched purposefully toward the beast. He came to a halt in the middle of his roar and looked at her, surprised. Are you talking to me? He wondered as he looked around. Yes, said Princess Robin, her face flushed. Why are you making such a racket? You've scared everybody away. Robin then observed something unusual about the dragon. He was sobbing. A long, moist tear fell from the corner of his eye, landing in a large puddle underneath him. Robin took a step closer to him. Are you all right? She inquired. The dragon let out a loud sniff and shook his gigantic, scaly head. No, last night I didn't get any sleep. I'm suffering from a severe toothache and was hoping that someone in the hamlet might assist me. But everyone is terrified of me, except you. Robin gave a kind smile. Well, it's only because you are making a lot of noise. I can arrange for a dentist to assist you, but you must keep in mind that people dislike loud noises. The dragon smelled one more and regretfully nodded. I get what you mean. Thank you for being astute enough to recognize that I was merely in agony and courageous enough to approach me. Robin smiled and walked up to the dragon, touching one of his huge toes. That's exactly what Princess Robin did. She went around to all of the local hardware stores, encouraging the owners to bring their ladders out. She then went to the dentist and requested assistance with the dragon's tooth. The locals were initially alarmed but Robin reassured them by explaining that the dragon was just unhappy because he was in pain and that everyone, regardless of size, needed aid at times. The citizens of the town listened to her 
and drew their shoulders back, attempting to be as fearless as the princess. They worked together to persuade the dragon to lie down. The dentist was able to climb up the ladders and into the dragon's mouth to examine what the problem was once they were fastened. A hefty piece of the hedge had become lodged between two of his massive teeth. The dentist shrugged as she poked her head out of the dragon's mouth. I'm afraid I don't have the tools to remove this, she said. Robin paused for a bit before coming up with a brilliant suggestion. Someone call the fire department. They have enormous strong hoses and they won't have any trouble spraying the hedge out of the dragon's jaws. Princess Robin was correct and the hose performed the task perfectly. The dragon sat up and purred with satisfaction once the hedge was gone and everyone was back on the ground. I can't tell you what a difference you've made, Princess Robin, the dragon said, relieved. Whitworth is fortunate to have a princess as wise, bold, and astute as you. Robin gave a kind smile. She was simply pleased that the dragon was feeling better and that the residents of the town could continue to enjoy their day. Of course, this included her. She could now go to the stable yard and give the animals carrots for dinner. This story depicts that dangerous circumstances, near escapes, difficulties that require brains and talent to overcome. Like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching.